freaking excited for this. Ooh. She has spilled a little bit. I mean, it did just spill on my bed. So, I mean, that's not surprising. Right, we are doing a little mukbang. I feel like, have I ever done a mukbang? I feel like I have. No, I've done a sushi one. Sorry, I can't sit with my legs crossed, so. But anyway, we're, we're in my bedroom today. I'm feeling actually pretty good. I've tidied up today, like literally all like my birthday decorations and everything. We're gonna have a little girl talk mukbang today. I'm so excited. I'm also taste testing the little Starbucks awesome menu, even though I've already had it all, but. We've got a pumpkin spice latte, we've got the Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich, and we've also got a pumpkin spice cookie. These are my favourite things ever, like every time it comes on the menu, oh, oh my god. I also got a warm one because it's just so cold, and I'm finding like, oh my god, this is like the best time of the year ever, when it's like freezing cold, and it's just like, you can get all snuggly. Like, I've got a t-shirt on and a jumper. Like, that is rare, especially in these apartments. They get so warm. I'm gonna just have a little girl talk, girl chat. I asked you on Instagram to ask me questions or things you want advice on and stuff. So we've got a few little things going on. Um, I, like, I love videos like this. And plus, I get sweet food whilst we chat. So it's literally just like we're on FaceTime, you know? So it's like the best thing ever. Let's take a little first bite of this. Oh, I freaking love these so much. Mm, I don't know what it is. But I could eat about 10 of them in a row and not, not feel sick. Just go straight in the deep end. Someone said, do you regret moving out? Now, I'm going to be open and honest. No, I don't regret moving out at all. I feel like lately I've just been a little bit stressed. And like a little bit like, what the frick is happening? But living on my own and moving out is like the best thing that I could have done for myself. And I feel like I'm glad that I have done it. Sometimes I do feel a little bit lonely. But I feel like that's okay, but obviously, I wish like Barney could be here 24-7, but at the moment we're not in a place where like, it it would definitely work if we lived together, but with his job and everything, at this point in time, I feel like we're just, we're just a little bit too young. I mean, I'm only 21. In a few years time, it's definitely on the cards, but as of right now, it's not, which is sad because I'm like, do you want to just move it? Like, that's just not the way things work now. And obviously, I live in Manchester. His job is not in Manchester and it would just be like a massive faff for that. But yeah, anyways, I don't regret moving out. I don't regret moving out at all. It is just, it's, it's just given me a sense of like freedom and like I can just do what I want when I want. I feel like my anxiety has gotten worse since I moved out. Like I am, I do panic quite a bit. Um especially recently and stuff i feel like to be fair i feel like i've never really spoken about this but i don't know for definite yet but i think i am going to go to the doctors about it but my eyes suffer really bad with my period but not like it's always consistent like it's always on time everything like that i don't really have any pains or anything but meant but mentally after my period finishes and even a little bit like towards the end of it, I feel like depressed. I don't want to say depressed because obviously I'm not, but it, it's that bad that I feel like that. So yeah, if anyone else feels like that, let me know. But yeah, it's just, it's getting bad. Like I've always suffered with my periods mentally, but recently they've been getting really bad. So I feel like being alone, like living alone, like going through that sometimes can be a little like, whoa. But at the same time, like I don't want to just shout at everyone and be like, frick off you know <laughs> do you move anywhere other than manchester and i feel like a hundred percent yeah but not far away if that makes sense like obviously i have my I have where my family lives like my mum dad brother and then like my nana and granddad i have where they live and then i have family obviously in manchester but i would never want to move i would never like move to london i would never move too far away so i feel like when i do buy a house i want to I wouldn't move to my hometown because I don't want to buy a house there, I don't think. I was planning on doing that, but then I thought I don't really want to live back there, if that makes sense. So I feel like when I do buy a house, it's not going to be too far away from home. Like I'd say like 20 minutes, like half an hour at the max, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's just, it's hard trying to find a house where like in a nice area and like one that you like and stuff. So who knows when that'll be, but yeah. It, I definitely wouldn't buy a house in Manchester. I'd want to, like, live a bit further out, live a bit more, like, in, not in the countryside, <laughs> but, like, low-key, like, just with loads of green. Like, I want dogs. Like, I want, like, the dogs to be able to run around the garden and just 
been able to take them for walks and it like literally be in the middle of nowhere not in the middle of nowhere but like just a small little you know i don't really know how to describe it but yeah like, i love living in the city sometimes it's a bit too much and for me <laughs> There's a lot of police cars, like obviously it's city centre and everything. Police cars really, really do freak me out. Like the sound of them really like traumatises me and like that's, and I'm not just saying like that, like it actually does. I don't like police cars and the sound of them. It really, really freaks me out and scares me and just, yeah, but yeah, that's why I kind of just want to live in like a small little village. <laughs> no but yeah i don't know i love living here and i love being able to just like walk out and like have everything on my doorstep more or less like it's so nice but i would i it's not gonna be long term if that makes sense like but yeah who knows what the future holds i might stay here for a few years i don't really know yet someone asked my boyfriend doesn't want me to go to uni like for the party lifestyle and everything and i feel like I don't really know. I feel like it's a tricky one because I can see where both sides are coming from. Because obviously my boyfriend said it like he wanted to just randomly go to uni. I'd obviously be supportive and be like, okay, go you. No, I feel like you just have to trust people. But I get as well, like, are they just going to party or are you just go? Are you going to study? But that, I don't know. I've never been to uni, so I actually can't. I can't give much of an opinion because I don't actually know what uni is like. Like people can have very different uni lifestyles. There's uni and there's university, you know. Um, but yeah, it's a weird one because I can see where both sides are coming from. But if you actually want a degree and actually want to study and everything, why is your boyfriend stopping you? But if it is just for like the social life and stuff, I guess you could just go out every weekend anyway if you wanted to when like uni doesn't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if it's something that you genuinely want to do and genuinely like actually want to get a degree in something, like obviously go for it. And if they're not supportive, then that's a bit weird. But it just depends how you're looking at it, you know? But I can't really give much of an opinion because I didn't go to uni and I don't know what goes down. How to get over gym anxiety, um, like going to the gym on your own and everything. I feel like i've always gone to the gym on my own and don't get me wrong when i first ever went to the gym it was very very like daunting because i didn't know where anything was i didn't know like what to do i didn't know any exercises like i just kind of just went um but i feel like when you go to a new gym go to the cardio section go on the treadmill and just walk because usually where the treadmills are placed in majority of gyms they're kind of like overlooking everything so as you're on the treadmill walking about you can just not walking about like walking on the treadmill you can kind of like look and see where things are like see where the machines are see where like different sections are like to stretch or like other different places I feel like when i first started the gym i'd always go to the treadmill and just kind of walk and just like look around and everything I also said like i think people are staring at me trust me now people are not staring at you in the gym unless they want to go on the machine that you're on like <laughs> that is the only reason that anyone would be staring at you in the gym or the fact that you look unreal if you know what i mean like when i like when i go to the gym i literally put my headphones on and i am in the zone i listen to podcasts i feel like podcasts is a really good way to like distract yourself i don't know really know why but for me i never really listen to music in the gym i don't i don't know why i've always just listened to podcasts in the gym i really enjoy it because like i feel like i really get into the zone and i'm really like just listening to what like whoever is speaking about is saying i feel like that's a really good thing to do and i also feel like when you listen to a podcast you feel like you're also not alone does that make sense i don't really know um but yeah, obviously look up exercises on TikTok. TikTok is so good. If you go to the gym, just like when you're on the treadmill, just start looking at exercises that you can do and then you don't feel like you're doing them wrong because you've already watched a video. But it's also completely normal to get out your phone whilst you're in the middle of an exercise and just look at how to do it. Like, I'm not being funny. Everyone starts at the gym at one point. No one goes into the gym knowing every single thing. Like, don't, like I've been going to the gym now for consistently since february and it's what now like it's october now it's like eight months and i still don't know everything like i don't know everything like everyone starts from somewhere and i'm nowhere near where i want to be on my fitness journey but yeah i never had the confidence to go to the gym at first but i feel like you just really need to push yourself and kind of just throw yourself in the deep end sometimes because then you can just really overcome it but yeah i never used to use like the free weights 
or the barbells or anything like that. I never use anything like that. I'd always just use the actual machines where you have like the pins because I was like, I don't want to be loading these barbells. I don't want to be doing anything. But now I go and I'm like, like putting the weights on the barbells and everything. And I feel like the confidence does come. And <laughs> at the same time, you kind of just have to act like you know what you're doing and like, no one's like no one's gonna come up to you and be like what are you doing in the gym like one that's just rude and two no one is actually bothered like that if someone <laughs> if someone is actually that bothered when they're at the gym they're clearly not actually working out properly you know what i mean like when i go to gym all i'm thinking about is the podcast that i'm listening to and the exercise that i want to get done how to get over an ex now I've not been in this position since 2020. <laughs> then there have been, there's been boys in between that that haven't even been an ex. And like have been harder to get over and not even been an ex. I mean, not even been together. I feel like that's really annoying because you didn't even make it to the girlfriend stage. So it's like really offensive to be honest. But like, <laughs> anyways, um, I feel like it is so hard. Like it just, it's weird getting over someone and I hope I never have to go through that ever again touch freaking wood i hope i found i found a good egg now so although i did have a dream last night that we did break up and i did wake up crying anyway i can't remember i think you just have to let yourself cry like you you are allowed to be upset over a breakup like that is a completely normal thing you need to be upset over the breakup um unless like you're not upset about it then like maybe you're already over it but if you are upset about it you can you let yourself be sad let yourself be in bed let yourself eat food let yourself just be an absolute slob and slob it out watch films watch tv shows whatever makes you happy but and try to distract yourself but not distract yourself too much that when you see something all the emotions come back if that makes sense i feel like it's very easy to just say like block and just don't think about like don't see it whatsoever but i feel like to be fair i feel like it is a good thing to just block people and i wish i had done that in previous stages i feel like for me i always wanted to try and stay friends with people and then i'd be like oh my god we're gonna get back together we didn't in some scenarios people can break up and get back together i've seen it happen like two of my friends from high school they literally broke up and got back together they have been together now for like freaking like five years maybe not five years four years like they just need a little break and then they got back together my mom and dad broke up when they was young when they was like first going out and then they got back together they didn't see anyone actually just got back together after a few months sometimes you just need a little bit of a break but when you i feel like you kind of know when it's the end of a relationship but like and you know that you're probably not gonna get back together and it kind of ends like really shitty and everything but i, I don't know it, it, it just depends i my mum genuinely didn't think her and my dad were gonna get back together so but she just ignored him <laughs> like she just ignored him um, and it, he like literally wanted her back and i've seen that happen with other situations but it sometimes you have to lose something to know how much you love it if that makes sense but Anyways, to get over someone, I feel like it is really important just to block. Like, because obviously, back in the day, you, if you broke up with someone, you more than likely, unless you're like, you went out in like the same areas and stuff, you probably weren't going to see them. There's like, obviously phones and everything, but there wasn't social media and stuff. So it was quite, kind of probably a bit easier maybe, because you never knew what they were doing. Like, they could be up to anything and you wouldn't really know. I feel like in this day and age, like there's Instagram, there's Snapchat, there's TikTok, there's Facebook, there's whatever and i feel like it can make it a lot harder to sort of i can i think it can make it a lot harder obviously to get over someone past experiences i wish i'd just blocked and removed and just moved on instead of trying to talk to them trying to be friends with them when the only way being friends with an ex works is if you both do not want to get back with each other and you both have moved on and you are both on the same page if one of you wants to get back with the other one being friends does not work because someone is always going to get hurt no matter what but yeah i feel like when i went through breakups all i wanted to do was get drunk not the best idea because you will be crying to them on the floor in a bathroom at a house party once you've necked a bottle of gin anyways moving on don't advise that you do that okay please don't take my advice over that do not get drunk i mean if you want to get drunk some people say the best way to get over someone is to get under someone i wouldn't take that advice either because it's probably not true and then you're probably just gonna feel 10 times worse you know what i mean move on from this topic because 
I, I'm probably not an expert. I probably don't really know what I'm on about because I just cried and got drunk. <laughs> Balance in personal life and love life. I feel like for me and Barney, we always see each other on a weekend and people, some people love to hate on this. I don't really know why, but we see each other Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. Like every single weekend we have done for like a year and a half now since we've been together. And it's always worked because we always know when we're gonna see each other. I love that. I love knowing when I'm gonna see someone. In past relationships, I never knew when I was seeing someone. I don't like that. Like. Then I just got stressed and upset and everything. Anyways, um, so it's actually nice to have that routine. I live in Manchester now. He doesn't live in Manchester. It takes him quite a while to get here, like probably about an hour. So I'd, I'd rather not see him in the weekdays. Like it's nice to have like the week to myself and then the weekend with him, if that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. It, like I'd love to have him here 24 seven, but it's also nice to have that balance of being on my own and also having a boyfriend and that my boyfriend isn't just my entire life. I mean, he is, but anyway. <laughs> I would say I depend on Barney. Like I don't depend on him. I'm a very, very independent person. I can do stuff on my own and like, God forbid, if we broke up, I I mean, I'd be very freaking upset, very upset, but I'd be fine. Like I have my whole, life like this is mine like i live on my own like i have my own things to do you know what i mean like i was my own person before we got together and i'm still my own person now and i will be I we're not gonna break up but <laughs> just hypothetically let's just touch wood because i've said this a million times now and i'm probably like putting it into the universe i do not want him to leave me <laughs> i feel like also kind of like not really integrating your friends and their friends and like intertwining lives together because i've heard a lot of people have bad experience with that where they, they've introduced like their friends to their girlfriend or the boyfriend or like all friendship groups and the friendship groups are kind of like merged together and then they break up and it's like oh shit like whose side do we take so obviously people friend new friendships have been made and everything and it's just a little bit awkward i feel like having separate friendship groups can kind of be a good thing because then god forbid if you do have a breakup then like you've still got your own life you don't really need to see them and stuff i feel like it is so important to have your own life outside a relationship and your relationship not be your full life you know what i mean like i feel like i've done that before and it just doesn't end well it just doesn't end well to do when you live alone how to not go crazy <laughs> i don't really know what i do when i, I like obviously take myself out and stuff but i feel like i very much just enjoy being on my own and like being able to just watch like youtube or watch tv i'm watching gossip girl at the minute when i say watching i mean binge watching i was up to 12 o'clock last night that's not like me i go to bed at nine i don't really know i feel like you just have to like learn to love your own company and don't get me wrong sometimes i'm like sat in on my couch and i'm like oh my god like what am i doing like i'm like sat there like i'm like oh my god this is actually like annoying me like what can i do i'm so bored and then i'm crying a bit insane after a while it's fine and then sometimes i just like getting into bed <laughs> you know what i mean like by the time it's half seven or like seven o'clock i'm best believe i'm in bed and just like getting all cozy and cuddly love cooking i do like cooking i feel like that's a good way to like kill an hour or so um i just watching tv and then I don't really know. Just doing anything really. Building a Lego set. I mean, let's not even speak about the Lego set that I'm building at the minute. Oh my god. Well, like for me, I could literally just lie here, watch TV, and be fine. You know what I mean? Did your first time hurt? Now, mother, if you're watching this, maybe skip ahead. To be fair, I'm not really bothered if you watch it, but I don't think maybe you want to hear. Anyways, or anyone family wise that is maybe watching this part of the video. So I feel like, <laughs> I don't really remember because it was so long ago now, like, how long ago? Three years? Four years? I was 17. I feel like that's an okay age. Obviously, I don't think it really matters. As long as you are safe, you are protected and like you are fine. You know what I mean? I feel like as long as you're okay with the, the situation that's going on and I feel like it's okay i mean maybe not when you're at 12 but anyways don't think it hurt i feel like if you're pretty relaxed then it doesn't really but then like it 
it just depends like obviously it's not gonna be like not her <laughs> the first time oh god this is like oh i hate talking about this it's like so the thing is i don't want to talk about it because i know that like, my mum and like people are watching this and like oh but um Oh my god, I thought the coffee was going to go everywhere though. Obviously, it's not going to not hurt. It's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for the first, like, maybe first time, maybe a first few seconds. <laughs> I don't like talking right, but for me, it didn't, it wasn't anywhere near what I expected. I thought it was literally, I was going to die, you know what I mean? But it was completely fine. Um, but yeah, it didn't, it wasn't really too bad. But I can't really remember, like... I was sober. <laughs> I was sober. I like remember, but also at the same time, it was years ago. So it's like, I don't really remember how I felt in that situation anymore. And on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Don't really know what I've been talking about, not going to lie. I feel like it was probably a load of shit. But um, I had a fun time. Um, I had a fun time. We've been eating food, we've been drinking coffee, we've been chatting to each other like we're on FaceTime. I mean, it's been a great experience for me. Um, but yeah, I love you all lots, and I'll see you in the next one.